CT image layers build up a three-dimensional block. The bright pixels represent dense structures that have absorbed many X-rays. Colored medical image data visualizes anatomical structures such as a rhythmically beating human heart. The sternum, ribs, and diaphragm underneath the heart are colored turquoise. The right heart muscle pumps the blood gathered from the body through the blood vessels into the lungs. The left heart muscle draws the oxygen-enriched blood from the lungs and pumps it into the entire body. The sinoatrial node determines the heartbeat. It starts the electrical stimulation of a healthy person's heart muscle cells. Back to the two-dimensional view of a CT layer, which doctors use to determine whether the heart valves, depicted in blue, function properly. The distinctive pumping left heart muscle distributes the oxygen-enriched blood from the lungs into the entire body. The heart valves absorb less radiation energy and therefore appear dark in the CT image. Muscles and tissues receive, in contrast, more radiation and appear in different shades of gray. An elevation map emerges based on the pixel's gray values. The brighter the area, the higher the hill, the more radiation a pixel has received. Brightness can also encode the blood flow velocity in MR images. Scientists have found a way to graphically represent complex information about motion gained from MR pixels. Blood flows the fastest in the orange areas. Similar to ink spreading in water, Virtual particles visualize the direction of the blood flow. Their movement reconstructs the blood flow in the patient's heart, step by step. The heart muscle can clearly be seen in anatomical MR images. In the future, these new imaging methods will help doctors determine how the blood flow changes due to heart diseases without using a catheter.